It's a spectacular time of year again, and today I'm going to show you how to produce really easy sugar skull nail art. Giving me a helping hand on today's tutorial, I'm going to be introducing you to the ring thing from Empower Nail Art. This is basically a really nice sleek little thumb palette with indentations in for different colour polishes and this is going to give me a helping hand because there's lots of colours to use in today's tutorial. As you can see it's got a lovely adjustable little thumb ring and you can pop this on your thumb, on any of your fingers or even just leave it standing up on its own and it's even got a lovely little indent for doing perfect striping nail art. I'll put full details in the description of where you can purchase this. Now for the tutorial. Begin by applying base coat to all 10 nails and then the nail that you want the sugar skull to appear on paint white and the remainder paint black. Apply a second coat of colour to each nail and allow to dry. And now the fun begins. Decant some black polish, I'm using CND Vinylux in Blackpool, into your thumb palette and taking a fine detail nail art brush, apply through the bristles and begin by drawing diagonal line across the nail and a straight line down. These are going to form the cheekbones of our skull. Repeat on the other side. Now take a large ended dotting tool and apply two circles for the eye sockets. If you have slightly longer nails like I do, apply a line along the bottom of the nail to form the jawline. With a medium sized dotting tool, apply an upside down heart by applying one dot and then flicking upwards into the centre and again on the other side. Use your fine detail nail art brush to draw a straight line for the mouth and then four vertical lines to form the teeth. Now you're ready to decant your chosen colours into your ring thing. I'm going to be using the Mojito from All That Jazz. Punky Purple from Nina Ultra Pro. Orange Flame from Nina. And Canary's Fairy and the Margarita from All That Jazz. Using a medium dotting tool and your black polish, Apply dots all around the eye sockets on both eyes. Using a medium and a fine dotting tool, apply dots across the centre of the skull and then your medium tool to apply yellow dots on either cheek to form flowers. Using your fine dotting tool and your polish, this is the Margarita from All That Jazz, turn the dots into flowers on the cheeks. Then using your other bright colours, apply them in the centre of the black dots that you made around the eye sockets. Using your fine detail tool, apply some extra detailing along the top of the skull and some colours between the teeth. You can use any colours that you like. Add any extra detailing that you feel like. You may want to go back over some of the colours around the eyes a second time to make them even brighter. Once you finish your design, leave it to dry and then you can concentrate on your other nails. Over your black base, I've used the CND Vinylux in Blackpool, we're going to apply a beautiful confetti polish. This is front and centre by All That Jazz and I love this one. Apply generously to make sure you get a nice helping of the confetti. You may want to apply two coats to do this. Once you've completed, leave it to dry. Now we're ready to top coat. My favourite is Setcha Vitae and apply this generously over the skull. We want this polish to stay wet because we're going to add some crystals into the eyes. Using a jewel picker, apply SS5 Crystal AB Shrosky crystals in the eyes. If you want to know where to buy these, full details are in the description. And doesn't it look beautiful and spooky all at the same time? This sugar skull nail art is so easy to achieve and you can use any colours that you have at home. 
If you do want details to any of the products that I've used, all details will be in the description and subsequently in my blog. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more nail art tutorials and beauty and lifestyle reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Happy Halloween!